Hey everyone, we have a special episode today, and uh, I'm joined by Jason and our founder, Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Jason. Hey. And also Sebastian from Sandbox Game. Hi, Sebastian. Hey there. Tell us a little bit about Sandbox Game and what do you guys do? Yes, yeah, so like Sandbox, uh, it's essentially a 3D decentralized virtual world where anyone can become a creator. More recently, we evolved Sandbox to become one of the leading uh, platform that allows to play with more than 400 major brands and create content in 3D in Vox stores and own that thanks to the use of blockchain technology and NFTs. Uh, we launched a no-code game maker um, that enabled hundreds of thousands of people to make games for the first time. And today we're going to explore something exciting with Vibe coding and see like how we can play around to make our own game with AI. And since we have Leisha here, tell us about Rosebud. Yeah, well, Rosebud is where you go to Vibe Code Games. There you can directly prompt the game you want to make. In my case, I actually used one of the default prompts, Cartoon Forest Game. And so this creates a simple, cute, perfect voxel forest. Every time you generate this, it will be a new game. Should we show the sandbox template and how that's remixed so people know how to get started? When you go to the URL that we can provide, You'll see like the game full screen here, and then you'll see that you'll be able to have this environment. You have some trees. Also, you have the stag here, and they have a NPC that can, that's going to be walking around. If you want to start vibe coding and making your changes and basically making whatever you want using this, just scroll down here, and you'll see the project title and this big yellow button. I go to hit remix this game. I want to hit that. I have my own fresh copy of the project here, right in our edit page. And now you can start working on the game by head into the chat here and just type anything you want. But yeah, one thing we have kind of want to showcase is that when you're vibe coding, it's not just about one prompt and you get a final game you can play with. Like part, most of the fun actually is in crafting step by step how you want to customize your game. And we find that a lot of our creators just spend most of the time slowly creating this. So as you can see, like as I make stuff, I get more ideas that are crystallized of like what I want to happen. We're basically going to make like some kind of game where so goblins chase you around and you have a sword, you have to try and slash them, fight them back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's actually add the goblins. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to take a few steps first. Looks great. Let's see. Maybe I'll, I'll let you know when I have the goblins out in the world so I can take a show that. So on my side, I uh, just added like a few bouncing balls. Yeah. You can see like the bouncing balls. My trees have disappeared, which did what I wanted. But all my human NPC as well kind of uh, disappeared. So let's see if I can have like some skeleton. It's also suggesting your next step to add some roads because it uh, split your task in a few parts. It's really intuitive. Think of Rosie as like an agent and she's just basically waiting for your confirmation to execute the next step. You know, she wants you to see how she broke it down. And then the next step is like kind of confirmation for allowing her to do, I guess, a few more steps. So I wanted to just show folks what I was doing. So um, there was an asset for music that we had um, in the asset library of scary music. So as you remember, it was like really jolly and like kind of whimsical at first. So I added that into the scene earlier on and then um, sandbox actually gave us a bunch of assets so there was this really cool asset and some other scary things and so i added i was adding them pro progressively to the scene and so now it's like really creepy so i'm like walking around i can barely see there's a flicker of flashlight colors and i mean it's still a voxel building game so i think i'm gonna have to switch it up so that it's has a different goal so in this way the player can fight back and so I'm in the progress of changing up the mechanics. So I added these skeletons and they're going to look at me and chase me and I can fight back. So that's where I'm at with this. But yeah, as you can see, like it suggests things that kind of carry out my intent further. So, you know, the reason why I wanted to add skeletons is probably to change the mechanic. And so Rosie kind of suggested um, how to progress. So just starting it off. Yeah. But yeah, we have like some pillars, which I think are kind of in the ground. I'm going to raise them up a bit. We have Rosie just like you're watching almost like in one prompt, just change the atmosphere and all the sand, all the black colors. So. Whoa, love this. So, so one crazy thing is you can make this like work working in VR too, by just prompting it to have VR controls. And I love that because there'll be a website, you can open it in your VR browser of choice and then just like go into VR mode and explore, which is kind of like my dream way of <laughs> making world. Nice. No. A Let's party. See. Okay. <laughs> Starting to be a party. Uh, oh, yeah. cool. Now I have collision. It detected that. So, yeah. 
I can push the ball. I don't know if every ball will interact with each other, but it does have physics, so it starts to have some effect. Yeah, I really want to get some NPCs now. Like, well, yeah. We're still playing with the Daimo library, but as soon as we'll add all the avatar collection from the value 50 plus collection that we launch at Sandbox, I guess it will be pretty fun. I'm basically trying to add these skeletons. So. And then after that, I think I'm going to change the terrain. What would be creepy? Maybe let's make it into a gothic castle. Mm. Let's switch that first. Let's like make the scene into a gothic castle instead. As you remember, we were in this beautiful terrain. And <laughs> now we're in this very different inside. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Really creepy that there's deer here. Um, all of a sudden. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I make the interior more intricate. And make sure I am in the side of the gothic castle. Kind of like a haunted castle. So here's the desert I'm working on. So we just have some pillars here. We have and the environment. And then Rosie changed the sky. So this was not too many prompts right from the, the same start that we just had with the forest. So pretty cool. Rosie suggested uh, to... Oh, yeah, there you go. Also, I was able to raise the pillars off the, because they're kind of in the ground. All right. Rosie suggested adding like the particles to make it look like we're in a sandstorm, which I like. This is great. I like the sound as well. So uh, I was able to manage to turn the scene into oh, a scene. Yeah. And, uh, Love it. <laughs> some lights now. Still struggling to get my NPC, but I'm playing around with balls, adding uh, light emission on them. Now we're trying to make some of them glow as we bounce. Let's see if it does work. And I really want to have my humans. <laughs> if not, I'm alone at my birthday party. It's a bit sad. So check this out. I'm inside this castle. Totally different vibes from where we started. Um, yeah, some very imposing structures. It's like a maze, see, outside. And I've been adding these like torches um, in the process of. So it's broken down to a couple of steps. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, and then I obviously, there's a bunch of these assets that I'd like to add to increase the ambience. It's almost like everything is creepy if you make the scene creepy. So adding balloons here would definitely be creepy too. Exactly. <laughs> Who's had a party? Oh my God. It's so impressive how far you've gone from the initial template. Yeah. I mean, all of us. I managed to do like my glowing balls and so nice. on. Nice. Start to look some body, right? Like, yeah, okay, yeah. Things light and so on. But it doesn't put in... Uh, I'm trying to insert the model from the library or uh, some characters yet, but it doesn't want them in. So I'm a bit struggling on that part. See, I'm putting the characters, but... Wow. Even when I push it, some of them are like glowing now. So I successfully added these assets called the drug or... Mm -hmm. It's like one of these creepy people. And they're now lying on the ground, not walking around. And so I took a screenshot, which you can see here. Um, and I just told Rosie they're still lying on the ground to make them walk around. Now I can actually sculpt the wow. world as well. And then open the box. Let's see. I love so, some animation here. And now like it, it's in the process of adding some loot on the oh, chest nice. when I open <laughs> them. Did it drop some coins? Not yet. I love that the vibe is so different. Should we give you a different music? Party music. All right, let's try that. And then after it comes up loot, it offers me to make some effect. I walk on the loot to collect it and like it disappears. Interesting. Maybe there should be a way to group all those actions at once. I can see there's more and more chests and my minerals are increasing. And as I walk back onto them, 27. Victory. Wow. I did some logic now. Collecting nice. such minerals. Pretty cool. I cannot quit it. So, right. It's a trio fun sound. We made a game, a very yeah. simple game so far. And I played with physics and some light effects and night and day. Um, the sky is changing color and the ambience. And I, those balls are bouncing as I touch them. Some are emitting lights. I was able to make a counter with resources, chest that when I opened, it dropped those crystals, which are like pretty huge. <laughs> so as you remember, we started with a very pastoral um, valley scene with deer. And now we're in this very creepy forgotten valley, <laughs> but maybe I should change the name. A creepy castle. It's a bit of a maze um, and got some of the creepy assets to show up. I was in the process of adding some 
uh, you know, fight kind of animation. So I'd be able to attack uh, my enemies. But yeah, it was a, quite a quite a departure from what we initially started with. Um, so if people are into horror games, this is definitely the way to go. Um, and I think with the sandbox assets, you can uh, spin up a lot more um, uh, kind of ambience. So yeah, and then I can show folks. Similarly, you can publish and share, and then be able to get a link to share. And this is the finished game. So you can actually remix my version down here um, with all the assets and make your own horror game. Awesome. Nice desert environment. Got some uh, nice uh, sand uh, particles flying around. Yep, we have some enemies walking around. That An was, actual like, sandbox. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the enemies, like, uh, my plan was to make them just like we was planning to make them attack me. I wish I wanted to make them, if I go close to them, start chasing me. Didn't get to that. That's the next step, honestly, here. But anyway, yeah, so we have the four enemies, they're walking around. I think sometimes they just attack something randomly. That's all that's one touch. Actually, that's a good point. Like, I'm going to publish right now. Yeah. When you're on a shared screen like this, you have the full screen just like Alicia and Seb showed. I'm going to scroll down, go down here. And at the very bottom, you'll see Remix From. Remix From is what the previous version of this project was. I'm going to hit that. That's where we all started from. <laughs> this is your original. Yeah. So, well, nice. Well. Start from like a nice and peaceful forest with some deers walking to... It's, it's been very fun for me. First time experience, first time making uh, my game with AI. The concept of remixing with AI, I think, is very powerful. So we'll definitely uh, bring more templates to start with. And I'm sure like, people will enjoy creating and remixing with AI thanks to Rosebud. Awesome. Yeah, and Sandbox Assets. So yeah, this is great. Thanks for joining us and making a game. And yeah, excited for people to, to start creating. Thanks, everyone. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone.